You may be watching this on your iPhone, just after streaming a movie on Netflix and listening to some of your favorite artists on Spotify. There are people behind these software and social media apps that have redefined technology as we know it. Who are these software legends, and how have they impacted their fields? That's what today's video is all about. So join us as we take a walk through eight of these software legends. Elon Musk Ever since he sold a video game all on his own at the age of 13, there's been nowhere else to go but up for Elon Musk. He taught himself computer programming, and by 17, he left to join the South African military. However, he moved to the United States, where he got two undergraduate degrees and a PhD at Stanford University, which he never finished. Still, what finally launched him into the realm of success was a software company he founded alongside his brother. This was the time of the internet boom, and of course, Elon was smart enough to take advantage of this. Zip2 was all about developing online city guides for newspaper publishers, who were trying to learn how to navigate the internet. Still, Elon eventually sold the company for $307 million and started XCOM that same year. This was an online company that eventually became PayPal. Of course, we know how huge PayPal is today and this online payment service is present in many countries around the world. However, Elon Musk has other fields he's passionate about, and one of them is wanting to go to Mars. Having satisfied himself with the progress of PayPal, he launched SpaceX in 2002 and this company is actively involved in making space tourism mainstream. This genius became the CEO of Tesla Motors in 2008 and has so far introduced several futuristic ideas that make this one of the most expensive companies in existence. It's not surprising that Elon Musk is one of the richest men in the world. Bill Gates When we hear Bill Gates, what immediately comes to our mind are personal computers. We can trace the history of this great man down to Seattle, where he grew up with his family. It didn't take long for Bill to become addicted to computers, especially after he first used one at prep school. He formed the Lakeside Programming Group with the plan to apply their computer skills to the real world. In 1973, Bill got into Harvard University, where he worked on a programming language with Paul Allen. Eventually, he dropped out of Harvard in his junior year to start what would later become the largest computer software company in the world. We're talking about Microsoft Corporation. Over the years, this went from being an experiment to a tool that has shaped every part of the software industry. Later, Microsoft partnered with IBM to create the basic interpreter for IBM's upcoming personal computer. He later created MS-DOS, which made Microsoft a major player in the software industry. As soon as Microsoft became incorporated in 1981, that opened the door to several opportunities, including the creation of Microsoft Windows. The Microsoft Windows operating system is used worldwide and this brand stood on its own against other companies like Apple and Linux. Today, Bill is heavily involved in philanthropy through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Looks like this man has it all covered, from launching the computer revolution to his philanthropic efforts. Jeff Bezos If you've ever spent hours surfing through Amazon and several dollars buying more items than you need, the person responsible for the platform in the first place is none other than Jeff Bezos. While he didn't put a gun to your head to make those purchases, he's the brain behind creating what is the biggest online shopping platform in the world. Jeff was pretty much a brainiac from his young days as a little genius ended up dismantling his crib when he was just a toddler. However, he eventually studied computer science, which got him a high-paying job and opportunities that would position him for success. At the time, he heard of a little magic called the internet and thought it would be a great idea to take advantage of it. Amazon started as a little platform selling only a few items online, but today it's anything but little as it's worth billions of dollars. Reed Hastings We have Reed Hastings to thank for how we can easily stream our favorite television shows and movies right from our devices with a single subscription. Yes, he's the CEO of Netflix whose popularity more than doubled during the coronavirus lockdown. We have always looked at television as a means of entertainment. From those unforgettable cartoons every Saturday morning to regular updates on happenings around the world. However, the modern world has embraced streaming, and now we can take advantage of it to watch whatever we want for as long as we want. Amazing, right? Netflix started as a physical video store owned by Reed Hastings, and then he officially launched the brand as a rental service in 1997. Users only had to pay a flat rate for the month to rent one movie. From that, it evolved into the Netflix we know today and has become a huge part of our lives. Daniel Ek Once upon a time, Spotify was known as a platform that dealt exclusively with audio streaming. Most people turned to this site to get the latest from their favorite artists, and we have Daniel Ek to thank for that. 
However, this founder and CEO realized that he had to move with the changing times if he wanted Spotify to remain relevant to millions of users worldwide. So in 2019, Spotify got busy with acquiring podcast platforms to become a major member of this space. The most popular one remains the $100 million spent on acquiring Joe Rogan's podcast, which is now exclusive to Spotify. Today, the popularity of this platform is only second of that of Apple Podcasts. We're glad that this risky gamble paid off and podcasts have become a major part of the entertainment space. Jack Dorsey Twitter has become so popular in various countries around the world that it is a major part of our mainstream vocabulary. It is not out of place to hear people talk about tweeting on various issues or even tweeting at top celebrities that have always seemed unreachable. The influential person behind this app is Jack Dorsey, and he is also the founder of Square, a famous financial services company. Twitter came to life in 2006, and it wasn't long before people became obsessed with communicating with just 140 characters. Over the years, we have seen how powerful and influential tech entrepreneurs can be. A good example was Twitter deplatforming Donald Trump, the former president of the United States. Still, there is no doubt that Jack Dorsey is worth a lot of money especially after the successful NFT sale of his first ever tweet on his popular social media platform. Steve Jobs No one can quickly forget the man who revolutionized Apple and made it into a global name that rings bells. Today we have millions of people eagerly waiting for the release of each new iPhone version every year, and we can trace his success back to Steve Jobs. This software mogul was truly innovative in his approach to technology and his out-of-the-box method since he launched the company in 1976 set the path for the unique growth of Apple over the years. Although Steve Jobs died in 2011 with a net worth of more than $10 billion, Apple is still very much relevant today, with a company worth as much as $250 billion. Mark Zuckerberg Who can forget Mark Zuckerberg, who gave us the biggest social media platform of our era? Facebook became so popular as a go-to space for uploading pictures of exotic vacations and keeping tabs on loved ones, no matter how far away they may be. Almost everyone has a Facebook profile, and Mark brought this amazing platform to life while he was still quite young. He went to Harvard University where he discovered his penchant for creating various types of websites. One of his many explorations led to the creation of Facebook as we know it and Mark achieved his dream of creating a platform that would literally connect the world. Thanks to Facebook, we can share experiences with all the favorite people in our lives, and with that, Mark is one of the richest people in the world. These are only a few people that have created social media platforms that changed how we interact with each other forever. Now you know these top influential people in the software industry. And that's a wrap. Who do you think is the most influential person in the software industry, and why? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? Well, we're always posting amazing content like this, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.